My name is Stephen Chase, and I'm an assistant professor jointly appointed in the Department of Biomedical Engineering and the Center for the Neural Basis of Cognition. And I design brain-computer interfaces, and I use these devices to study motor learning and, and motor control. We don't understand how your brain controls your limb. If we did, we could essentially make a, an arm that looked as, as much like a limb as possible. We could just recreate that mapping and you'd be off and running. But we don't understand that because limb control is very, very complicated. So because we can't make something exact, you have to learn how to use this artificial system that isn't reacting much like what natural motor control would do. And the idea is that if we can understand this learning process better, we can make devices that will work when we plug them in, that we can get out to patients in the real world uh, and, 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 and help them regain motor function. Uh, I design brain-computer interfaces and I use them to study motor control and motor learning. So a brain-computer interface uh, takes signals, recorded signals from the brain, and, and the ones I use are directly from neurons in primary motor cortex, which is the part of the brain that controls movement. Uh, and we take these recorded signals from the brain and we use them to directly control some device, like a cursor on a computer screen or a robotic arm. And the idea is that uh, somebody uh, uh, who's lost the ability to move, somebody who's paralyzed because of spinal cord injury or brainstem stroke for whatever reason, but still has all of that motor controllability locked into their head, we can take these devices, we can tap out the, the, the intention to move, and then we can move a device for them. So I've created this, in some senses, arbitrary mapping between neural activity and cursor movement. And the brain is very good at figuring out from the, uh, from the small movements that the cursor makes, how to refine that process and how to make the cursor do what you want it to do. And that's the process I study. We're trying to understand that learning process. We're trying to understand how to design a comp brain computer interface that is more learnable, that, is f uh, that you can learn more quickly, that you can learn to use more naturally. That's the, that's the work I do. Carnegie Mellon really encourages collaboration and that the kinds of things I do unites techniques from statistics, machine learning, neurobiology, engineering, and, uh, and so no one person could really be an expert in all of those various fields, but uh, we work together. So I work with people in statistics, I work with people in machine learning, and, and together we approach these questions uh, uh, about the brain from all these different perspectives, and, and Carnegie Mellon really encourages that.